Thank you, ladies, and we are back in Columbia, South Carolina. Anybody living in the South knows it has been pouring outside. We are lucky to be inside. Probably have a little bit of an effect on the crowd here tonight as South Carolina gets set to take on this Western Kentucky starting five. A.J. Slaughter, preseason Sunbelt Player of the Year. Folks, if you haven't seen A.J. play, stay around for a while. Anthony Sally, Sergio um, Carouche will be the forward along with Stefan Pettigrew and Jeremy Evans. Now for South Carolina, this will be a different starting lineup without Mike Holmes and of course Dominique Garchi. So Austin Steed will get the start tonight. So Downey, Rayleigh Ross, Steve Muldrow and Jackson. A short bench, a shorter bench than usual for Darren Horn. And there is the man you talked about in the open coach, Austin Steed. He is just gonna have to put a little bit more on his shoulders. Well, Steed and Muldrow have experience from last year, Dave. And again, Muldrow is multi-talented and skilled. I look for Sam to increase his numbers. South Carolina in their home whites, Western Kentucky on the road reds. This South Carolina team last played against Jacksonville, a real shootout in this building. 97-93 was the score. Jump hook by Muldrow, no good. Offensive putback goes down by Lakeen Jackson, the freshman. Jackson, a very athletic freshman from North Carolina on the offensive board, weak side rebounding. Baseline jumper is good from Stefan Pettigrew. Western Kentucky and straight man to man to begin this game. That's their bread and butter. Straight man to man, little switch defensively. There's Downey with a reaching foul around Pettigrew. Pettigrew. It's a big boy now. Stefan, 6'5, 230. The junior out of Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Ken McDonald, uh, head coach at Western Kentucky, Dave. Another interesting aspect of the uniqueness of this matchup Ken McDonald, a former assistant at Clemson under Rick Barnes and at Western Kentucky under Dennis Felt. Caruse with that basket for Western Kentucky. Yeah, a lot of little storylines tonight between these two clubs. Jackson, left-hander. Good looking shot just inside the arc. Well, the one weakness I've seen in Jackson's game has been his outside shooting, but he's off to an excellent start here today with the offensive rebound and that made jumper. Only 35% from the floor, but he is 0 for 8 from behind the arc is Jackson. Here's Pettigrew. Nice ball fake. Takes it inside the paint. Pettigrew off to a good start. Well, excellent read by Western Kentucky. They knew South Carolina would trap the ball screen. They hit the open man, Pettigrew, who scores. Here's Steve working on Pettigrew. That ball swatted out of there by Jeremy Evans. 166 career blocks now for Evans. There's Pettigrew. Up ahead. But Carouche can't handle it. Sergio Carouche playing for that man, Ken McDonald, in his second season at Western Kentucky. 14 years as an assistant coach under some very good head coaches. Outstanding. Most recently, Rick Barnes at Texas, who's built a top 10 program there in Austin. Here's Rayleigh Ross. Slaughter left him, and then Rayleigh Ross traveled with it. Randa should have just shot it from the elbow. Western Kentucky so far this season, Dave, has been a slow starting basketball team, kind of puzzling to Ken McDonald and his staff. They returned four starters off their second round NCAA team last year and have their sixth man back as well now starting Anthony Sally. Slaughter can't get the reverse to go down. Here comes South Carolina, Devin Downey. Devin picks up his dribble to Muldrow. Jackson, back to Rayleigh Ross. Got it, that's a three. Well, Rayleigh Ross shooting the ball much better earlier this season than he did last season. He was hurt early last year. Healthier this season, playing better, shooting better. Sally carried the basketball. 
Turnover gives it back to South Carolina. Rayleigh Ross, when he gets it going, he can be a dead eye. Well, you can see what dribble penetration does. It sucks in the defensive players from Western Kentucky. Nice play by Lakeem Jackson. Lakeem Jackson has the best assist error ratio on this South Carolina basketball team. Ramon Galloway, the true freshman, comes in. Takes a spot of Devin Downey. He sits on that bench. De Devin does have a foul to his credit. Here's Steve. Up and under you notice already, Dave, South Carolina with Archie typically presses with Archie on the ball. That's their bread and butter press. But without Archie, they're unable to get that kind of press used as much. That one swatted out of there by Jackson. Dominic Archie, all he can do is watch with that sprained knee. One of the most versatile players in the conference, plays small forward, big forward, and anchors the very good South Carolina press. Good defense by the Gamecocks. That keeps Dominic Archie clapping. 6'7", 200-pounder from Augusta. It was averaging 14 points, six rebounds, double figures in every game this year, shooting 53% from the field, actually 46% from behind the arc, and 82 at the line. I mean, it's hard to replace those numbers from a guy playing 30 minutes a night. Absolutely. And again, Dave, he could guard anybody on the court. Very athletic, very good red shirt, fifth year senior. Minya Milosevic checks in for Western Kentucky. I told you. He gets it going. It can be lights out for Brandis Rayleigh Ross. That was one great dribble drive penetration by the freshman again, Lakeem Jackson. Wow. Greencox off to a good start. They've doubled up the Hilltoppers to this point. Here's Slaughter. Milosevic off the iron. Mull throw the rebound. Galloway into the lane, kicks it to Jackson. That's what you do when you're 0 for 8. You give it up to Galloway, who will knock down the three. Well, Galloway, who struggled from three, uh, got it going at Charleston uh, in the tournament the Gamecocks played in, shooting the ball better now. Yeah, he's made six of his last 10 from behind the arc. 13 to 2 run by the Gamecocks. Milosevic. That's swatted out of his hands. Pettigrew. Here's Jackson now. Galloway will try it again. Got it again. It's a 15 to 2 run. Jim McDonald has seen it up. He can't wait for the TV timeout. He'll have to call it on his own. And South Carolina's roll. Penetration and the lefty with the righty cross court pass to the wide open Rayleigh Ross. Terrific play by Galloway. Galloway now wide open for three. Excuse me, Jackson on that first pass. Galloway with the open jumper. Jackson, very unique, powerful looking Dave, athletic player, not a great shooter, not a great ball handler, but an excellent passer. There's and that Grand Israeli Ross can get it going and taking up some of the slack with the injuries. You know, you talked about, you know, last year, him not being 100% physically, which I think affected him mentally as well. Shot 31% from behind the arc last year. Two years ago, 51%. 51% on threes, 37 of 72. So you know he's got it in there. Absolutely, and our great stat man, Brian Bennett, tells us that uh, with Downey out, the Gamecocks on an 8-0 run. Wow. A push by Austin Steed. That will take us to our timeout. But South Carolina's got it going on both ends of the floor right now. They're up 11 here at home. South Carolina leading by 11, 17 to 6. Gamecocks are playing very efficiently. They bring the high post to the middle of the court, hit, turn, and attack the basket. Very good preparation by Ken McDonald in Western Kentucky. He just sold his guys. Good job on that set. Got what they wanted. If you're not going to get the basket, let's get to the free throw line. You got one. Let's play. 
Darren Horn wearing the fancy suit tonight. Yeah, a little, uh, <laughs> little stripe, pinstripe action. Western Kentucky still hasn't had a field goal in the last four minutes. Got off to a great start. They were three of three. Galloway a little flat on that shot. Sergio Caruso, good rebounder, averaging six and a half a game, gets up for that one. Dane Cox up, up nine with Devin Downey scoreless. Good sign for South Carolina. Sally off the back of the iron, Galloway. Moldro will tie, try the three. Why not? Everybody else is making them. Sam now two out of six on the season. And Sam can make those shots. An excellent look at the top of the key in the secondary break. A very skilled offensive player. Slaughter. Tough shot. Wow. Double clutch over the shoulder. That was pretty darn good right there. Galloway. His pass knocked out of there by Pettigrew. Kentucky, and I think we'll have a discussion. Patrick Evans will discuss it with Tom Eads, and it'll be South Carolina basketball. Dave, you see that play right there? You recruit that. You do not teach <laughs> that. That's one of you. That's called good recruiting by Darren Horn. See, when you were coaching, no, you never told me that when you were coaching. It's only now that, that the secrets are out. Right? That's called recruiting. <laughs> That's not called teaching right there. Great move by Slaughter. You know, Slaughter, uh, Pettigrew, and uh, Evans all recruited and coached by Darren Horn. Three starters for the Hilltoppers. South Carolina on a hot streak, six of their last seven. They've made four of five overall today from beyond the three-point line. And Western Kentucky going zone, trying something different to try to slow the game cops down. How about that pump fake? Down. Make it five out of six. Goodness gracious, South Carolina is shooting the ball well. Dave, you think you see a little extra step in South Carolina here today? Just right. kind of looking at the hop in their step. You know, it's all, it's Darren Horn challenged his guys. What are you going to do with it? Bruce. Dixon, can he save it? Yes, he can. But he saves it to Galloway. Galloway, free throw line. That's off the front of the iron. Gets his own miss. We'll try it again. Goes with the left hand. How about a third time? Why not? That's effort, coach. That's effort, and uh, that's a left-handed shot you don't want, but when you follow it up and get it in the basket, all is well. <laughs> Nearly a takeaway. Slaughter pulls up. Way off the mark. That might have been blocked from behind by Jackson. Here's Slaughter. Wow. Boy, a little sloppy for Western Kentucky on the offensive side. Downey knocked out of his hand. You forget, my first time to see Devin this year, you forget how fast he is. We got a track meet going here, Dave Neal. <laughs> Devin Downey shows you he can not only get to the basket, but he can step away from it as well. 15-point Gamecock lead. Well, Western Kentucky fans might remember this guy. If you recognize the face, well, that's because he's coaching South Carolina now. Darren Horn, all Sun Belt performer. As a player, four straight 20 win seasons. And now at Western Kentucky, he led them to 29 and 7 record his last year there. He won 70% of his games. The 29 wins that he posted in the 07 08 campaign, a school record, went to the Sweet 16. And of course, uh, all kinds of doors were opened up at that juncture. And one of those was right here in Columbia. Played for Ralph Willard, the outstanding coach, now an assistant to Rick Pitino at Louisville, former head coach at Holy Cross. Western Kentucky after that three for three start from the field. Coach, they have gone very cold, one out of the last ten. Incox's first possession of zone out of the timeout. Blocked by Jefferson. Here's Jackson off to Jefferson. He can't handle it. 
Jefferson. Junior college transfer averaging three points, almost four rebounds. Galloway, excellent pass to Johnson, who just can't hang on to it. Would have had an easy layup or dunk. The more I watch, uh, excuse me, Jackson make that play, the more I appreciate how good a passer he is. Dickerson in the game now for Western Kentucky. Dixon with a screen for Slaughter. Nothing happening there. Here's AJ. AJ averaging 18 and a half a game to lead the Hilltoppers. Nice touch. Tough shot, Dave. You can't count on those over a period of time. That one went in, but that was a difficult shot. Galloway. Downey. Here's Benulis back to Downey. That's a long three. Benulis crashing the glass. Good work from Elka Benulis, whose minutes will increase. Hadn't played a whole lot here in the first six games. Actually, uh, an excellent shooter, Dave, but outside of that, Darren Horn wants improvement in all other areas from Benulis. Nice pass underneath. Dixon can't get it to go down, but the follow from Evans is good. First basket for Evans. That was easy. Quick jump, a quick twitch off the ground, dunking it before any other South Carolina player could react. Vanillas. Won't go down. Here comes Sally. He's got Dixon. Another steal for Devin Downey. Jackson, his finger roll is good. Well, the little guy read the pass. He suckered the pass, read it, and a two-point layup opportunity for Western Kentucky becomes two for the Gamecocks. Four-point steal by Devin Downey. Dixon, in. Field goal is good. It's first basket. Seven of eight players have scored tonight for South Carolina. Seven for Galloway. Leads the Gamecocks. There's Downey. Devin into the paint. Vanillas will try another three. 0 for three since he came in off the bench. Do you mind that shot as a coach? Not from Vanillas, Dave. Vanillas almost has the, the green light anytime. And a push on the inside against Jeremy Evans. That'll be his first. Dave, as a coach, you think you're going to get a layup, and Downey just fakes one way and plays the obvious pass, the flex, and a layup for Western Kentucky actually results in a layup for the Gamecocks. Four point turnover. Devin Downey, one of the great theft artists in college basketball. Downey needs 68 more steals to set a South Carolina. Record breaking Chuck Itson's mark. Young man, you coach. Young man, I coach six, seven long arms who had great savvy for the game, could read passes before they occurred as well. Left hander, wasn't he? Left handed, yeah. yes. Doing very well in Europe, making lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. No. Galloway, way too strong, chases it down again. Galloway knew that was off as soon as it left his hands and chases it down. Easy hoop twice he has gotten layups on offensive rebounds from his own miss. Galloway with three offensive rebounds here in the first half. Not bad for the guard. Helping South Carolina the 15 point lead. You look at the freshman Ramon Galloway. Out of Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. He has been very active tonight. Well, he's a very active player, knocking down shots. They have a weakness early in the season, scoring the ball, and also the savvy to know where it's coming off. Again, he realized that shot was off when he took it. He has three offensive rebounds, two of which 
He puts his own shot back in the basket off to an outstanding start. Ramon five, Galloway. Five rebounds overall, which which leads me to this, and folks, many folks probably didn't even notice this, but Auburn's Ty Armstrong yesterday against Alabama A&M had 10 offensive rebounds in five minutes of work. He finished with 12 rebounds overall, but 10 offensive rebounds in five minutes. He only played five minutes. Well, I'm telling you, he must have missed four shots in a row of his own close to the basket and offensive rebound. It'll be Western Kentucky basketball. Devin Downey tonight. One out of three from the floor. No assists. Three points. Gamecocks up 15. Like those numbers. And it, yeah, I mean, it, and Downey hasn't been much of a factor. He did create an easy bucket with some defense a moment ago, but for the most part, it's been the other guys. Yeah, absolutely. And Gamecocks trapped in the corner and steal it again. West of Kentucky just out of sync offensively, either getting into trouble, putting the ball in the corner like that possession, and then trying to force things, and then when they get open shots, not knocking them down. Gamecocks in a much better flow offensively and defensively here. Bradley Ross gets it to Downey. How about that matchup, Downey and Slaughter. Foul against Western Kentucky. Steven Spinella, or excuse me, a charge against Spinella. 31-16, our score. South Carolina has been shooting the ball very well. 52% for the game, holding Western Kentucky to just 35%. 15-point lead for the Gamecocks. And another foul against South Carolina. Rayleigh Ross with the push. Western comes in, Dave, shooting only 41% from the floor, 32% from three. They have not shot the ball well this year, and they've also had some turnover problems. Uh, they really think they should be further along. I was speaking with Ken McDonald today at shoot around. They've started slowly. They believe losing uh, the Valdez last year, the really good guard that was player of the year, Orlando Mendez Valdez. A big loss from leadership and numbers is just taking some time for role definition here with their four starters returning. Steed picks up his second coach, but they've played a pretty good non-conference schedule. Wisconsin, Milwaukee, they won that by four at LSU, lost by 11. Cal State, Northridge, they won that by a point and lost to Indiana State on a free throw with less than a second left. Actually trailed in that game by 16, had to come back. Couldn't pull it out at the end, however. Just some, somewhat out of sync here early in games. Uh, Ken McDonald very confident that this team will be very good by uh, conference schedule. Slaughter misses the free throw. Normally a pretty good free throw shooter, 75%. Jackson off to Rayleigh Ross. Brandis with a couple of threes, but goes inside. He's fouled. We'll see who picks that up. Will it be Evans or will it be Karush? How about neither? How about Pettigrew? Well, Jackson coming off a little weave action, and the nice crossover move creates the angle. Rayleigh Ross getting to the basket. They're playing Rayleigh really Ross, the Gamecocks are day, somewhat at point and playing Downey off the ball, more of a two guard. Both teams have been in a drought the last couple of minutes. Muldrow misses the three, Slaughter. Up ahead to Karush. Kentucky. Defensively, the Gamecocks doing an excellent job of guarding the basketball, making the Western Kentucky players put it down and forcing angles to the basket. South Carolina coach forcing their opponents into almost 21 turnovers a game. Well, that's unbelievable, Dave. And then you factor in that the Gamecocks block almost eight shots a game. The follow by Evans, no good. Rayleigh Ross, pump fakes Pettigrew. Pull up jumper off the back of the iron. Pettigrew with the rebound. 
Owens steals a game, Dave, again, eight blocks. That's very effective defensively, to say the least, and a lot of those steals and blocks results in easy baskets. around the cylinder and drops. Six points now for Pettigrew. And Dave with Archie and Holmes out, however, the blocks are gonna come on down because again, the Gamecocks are gonna play smaller. Under five to go here, opening half. Down, he splits the defense. Little tear drop won't go down. Rebound to Pettigrew. And a traveling by Pettigrew. Seven turnovers now by Western Kentucky. But uh, Dominic Archie before the game, honored with a uh, game ball, if you will, for entering the 1,000-point club here in South Carolina. Nice round of applause for him before tip-off. When you lose a 1,000-point score, you just don't have those guys coming off the bench. <laughs> no, not at all. And, of course, I think Dominic, one of the best decisions he's, he made was to redshirt his freshman year under Dave Odom. Uh, and really improved a lot during that year. In fact, more young men ought to redshirt their freshman year. But in today's game, everybody wants to play now. It's about now. Well, everybody wants to go to the NBA now. Unfortunately, I might add. What do you think about the uh, one year? You got to be one year removed from high school to begin the draft. Do you think it's had a, a negative or a positive impact on college basketball? Well, I, you know, I, I'm for young men going to, you know, go pro, make a living. I like the baseball rule, Dave. I think if you go to college, you need to stay three years. As the horn sounds, Jefferson can't get the tip to go. I'm a three year baseball rule. I like that yeah, a lot. It's then, a great you got, rule. then you got Brandon Jennings who goes over to Europe. To stay one year out, comes back and is tearing up the NBA. I think you'll see other young men try to do that as well. Make money while you play over in Europe. Pettigrew. Shot clock goes under 10. Pettigrew. High arching shot. Well, that is a soft shot that he has in the paint. Jackson goes baseline. Kicks it out to Rayleigh Ross. And a reach-in foul against Dickerson. That will take us to a timeout. But Western Kentucky slowly creeping back into this one late in the first half. It's an 11-point game right now. Back in Columbia, South Carolina, where the Gamecocks lead Western Kentucky 31-20. to Pettigrew having a pretty good half here for Western Kentucky, keeping them in it with eight points. Well, you make a good point, Dave. They're creeping back into it. You can see the head fake, the pump, the ability to get it in the basket. And he's a powerfully built young man who plays much bigger than his size indicates. Pettigrew, four out of six from the floor, five rebounds, does have a steal. Western Kentucky without a three-point basket here so far in the first half. Dave, only 0 for, 0 for 2. Well, they have made a three-pointer in 675 straight games. That's the sixth longest streak in Division I. It's their last miss, their last game without a three-pointer. you got to go back to March of 87. 22 years. Randy Ross with another offensive rebound. That's eight for the Gamecocks. Well, the South Carolina guards have be, been the best offensive rebounders for the Gamecocks. That was South Carolina's first field goal in over four and a half minutes. Here's Pettigrew working on Jefferson. Baruch badly. Misses badly from the corner. Slaughter will get it back to Sally. Baruch will try again off the back of the iron. That long rebound comes out to Lakeem Jackson. Muldrow, spin, little jump hook, won't go. Baruch the rebound, off to Pettigrew. Evans, will turn around, won't go. Baruch, fouled in the process. He'll step to the free throw line. And Jefferson will pick up his first foul. 
the pitch ahead and another easy miss. Western Kentucky missing a number of easy baskets as Jeremy Evans cannot get it in the hole. But Karush follows up and gets to the free throw line. Sergio Karush out of Memphis, Tennessee, by way of Itawamba Community College before coming to Western Kentucky. Last year with the Hilltoppers, averaged over 11.7 rebounds. Over to the bench with 2.24 to go before intermission. One out of two for Sergio. Slaughter defending Rayleigh Ross. Muldrow lost the handle. How about that? It was a nice play by Sally. Tried to throw it off Jefferson. But the problem was it, it went off Jefferson, but then hit Sally while he was out of bounds. Fresh shot clock now for the Gamecocks. Approach two minutes to go. Benulas missed his first three. But connects on his fourth attempt of the night. And that's why you want a good shooter to keep on shooting. Typically, a coach will not say much to a shooter when he misses a few. Dixon double teamed on that baseline. Foul against Panoulis. Well, Benulis coming in, Dave, is shooting 30% from three. He's only taken 10 shots all from three, but that is deep. But for a shooter like Benulis, he hits 50% of those, in my opinion. So, again, when you've got a shooter, what you don't want to have happen is to get a good shooter thinking. You want a good shooter who gets his feet set to continue to shoot the basketball. Dixon converts the free throw. Benulis only played double figure minutes just once this year. That was uh, 11 versus Alabama A&M in the opener. Last year, he averaged 18 minutes a game. Well, I think it's just my opinion here. As the uh, season moves on, particularly when the Gamecocks might be struggling to score or if they see zone, a team like Miami, when they got beat in Charleston, zoned them a lot. I think you'll see Benoulis play more, and I do think you'll see games if you follow the game Cox closely where he gets goes five or seven from three, something like that, and probably helps them win a game or two. Another three by the game Cox, no good. Rebound to Dixon. Picks up that dribble off to Dickerson. Dixon now inside, lost the handle as a tie up in the paint. Dickerson will line it up. No good. Rebound by Benulis. One minute to go here in the opening half. Benulis will try it again. He's got it again. Western Kentucky had closed it to 11. It's now 17, the biggest lead of the game for the Gamecocks. And the three ball, very, very important for South Carolina here today. And Western Kentucky still looking to make one. There you go. Dickerson right on cue, knocks down. The first three for the Hilltoppers are now one out of six. 30-second timeout called by Darren Horn. Shot clock is turned off. But Benoulis with two threes. He missed his first three three-point attempts tonight. Well, he keeps shooting good shots for him, Dave. And another reason why Benoulis, who can really shoot the basketball and is getting good looks because his teammates are finding him in transition, Efka hurts him somewhat on the defensive end. And that's where Darren Horn and he have had some discussions about why he has not played more this season. Hey, what I'm impressed with right now is you, you look at Devin Downey's numbers today three points one of four from the field no assists but yet the South Carolina team is up 14. I would not have thought that Dave Neal if uh, that was the case but uh, 
That's again a great sign. And of course, you know Downey here in the second half is going to step Right, he's his. gonna get his. Oh, he's gonna get his, and especially if the game's on the line, he will step up in crunch time. Well, he did it against Jacksonville a few nights ago. That 97-93 win by South Carolina, by the way, the most combined points between two teams uh, in the Colonial Life Arena. That was an offensive explosion. Not going to be one of those tapes you use as a clinic for defense. No, not, not at all. Here <laughs> comes the high post ball screen by a Gamecock, and Downey will use it. And Western might be going zone here. Downey lost the handle. Muldrow has to just launch it up. Good defense by Western Kentucky down the stretch. But the Gamecocks behind some solid defense. Lead by 14. They also got some great production from Ramon Galloway as he puts up a nine spot with five rebounds in the first half. It was a, a good half, really, for South Carolina. A lot of people wondering what was going to happen without, uh, you know, two key ingredients in Mike Holmes and Dominique Archie. Well, you wouldn't know that those guys didn't play. Not at all, Dave. The Gamecocks came out, fired up, playing very hard. The freshman contribution of Galloway and Jackson, outstanding. And Rayleigh Ross shot the ball well. The three-point ball is the huge difference in this game so far. If you're Western Kentucky in that locker room, what's the first thing you're going to talk about? Well, I, first thing I would say is this game is far from over, but we need to play with more poise and patience, and they need to shoot the ball better, Dave. They're not making shots. Yeah, pretty good shooting team, just one of six from behind the arc here in the opening half. So good half of basketball for South Carolina. They have a double-figure lead here at the break. A pretty good team effort. Seven of the eight guys to play are on the board. 14 point advantage at 39 25 halftime coming up stay with us a little Gamecock fan enjoying the action and that popcorn this club up by 14 right now as we're moments away from second half basketball and boy South Carolina got off to a good start and really was a three point shooting well seven of 16 Dave as Galloway knocks one down again going small will give more three point opportunities uh, for the Gamecocks Muldrell knocking one down the is a great three point shooter hits one gets it back again for another one again 16 three point attempts in the first half for the Gamecocks only taking 21 three point attempts coming in for an entire game so you can see the three point output here has been a big factor going small. You know the last two games this uh, opponents have been able to hit the three pointer against South Carolina. They have not been good defending the arc. Miami won eight of 13. Jacksonville went seven of 13. So 15 of 26 the last two games for the opponents against South Carolina. Good job tonight by the Gamecocks through 20 minutes. And look at the uh, the scoring very balanced scoring for South Carolina and it's great to see somebody besides Downey at the top of that board. Another interesting statistic day the Gamecocks did not shoot a free throw in the first half. Western Kentucky will have another chance. Pettigrew. Boy, wide open three. That didn't go down. And a foul underneath against the Gamecocks, that'll go against Austin Steed. That will be his third. So right away, Darren Horn will have to go to that bench, which is not very deep tonight. You know, again, where it's not deep, Dave, is in the four and five post positions. Losing two players from those positions really makes a thin bench for South Carolina. And Jefferson only playing 11 minutes per game. His minutes will increase until the two young men who are hurt get back into action. Western Kentucky at the line tonight. Now five out of nine at the strike. And as the coach mentioned, Gamecock still looking for their first free throw. And that's another aspect of the uh, of the game that Mike Holmes and Dominique Archie brought to this team. That thing is swatted out of there by Evans. Quick, quick jumper, almost off a trampoline. The second block tonight. Off the window. 
goes Anthony Sally, the senior out of Richmond, Virginia. Now Western chooses to play zone, even though the Gamecocks are shooting well from three and shooting often from three. Here's Slaughter. He's been quiet tonight, only four points, averaging over 18 a game. Now this is quickness on quickness right here. Nice pass by Slaughter. Jeremy Evans with another basket, and here come the Hilltoppers. They trailed by as many as 17 in the first half. They've now cut it to nine. Five straight for Western Kentucky out of the locker room. Ken McDonald liking what he's seeing. Nice pass from Slaughter, setting up his teammates. 18-38 to play. Well, A.J. Slaughter is expected, and some people think could be the Sunbelt Conference Player of the Year when it's all said and done. Only four points tonight, but Coach, uh, he's doing some other little things. Well, the ball screen there frees him up with his quickness and gives an advantage to Western, almost on a like a fast break opportunity and an easy pass as Evans gets the easy basket. He's a talented young man, leads Western Kentucky in almost every offensive category. And he's not really forcing the issue. You know, he's a veteran, a senior. Uh, he he kind of like Devin Downey. He knows eventually it'll come to him. Right, Dave, and he can do so many other things to help his team. I mean, there's going to be games where Downey or Slaughter don't shoot the ball well, but they've got to do other things. And Moldro, who's been relatively quiet tonight, gets that basket. He's got five points to go along with five rebounds. But Sam's only two of nine from the field. Sally. Bounce pass to Slaughter, who's guarded by Galloway. Freshman with a tough assignment. Pettigrew. Blocked by Moldro. You can almost see that coming from here. Here's Jackson on Slaughter. Drew the foul. Won't go down. Free throws coming up. See if that'll go against Slaughter, and it will, and that'll be the first on AJ. Shot blocking Dave Neal, a huge part of defensive team's abilities. And Muldrow, the talent of the touch, skill, has the ability to do more. And here's a layup that you think is going down for Western Kentucky. Muldrow blocks it, and South Carolina gets to the free throw line off of Sam Muldrow's block. Eight first blocks per game, the Gamecocks, very athletic shot blocking team. That's the first free throw tonight for the South Carolina team. They came in, they had been to the line 169 times. Western Kentucky, now a couple of games less, but 63 times for Western Kentucky. But I think there'll be fewer and fewer free throws without Holmes or Archie on the well, floor for South Carolina. Absolutely, Dave, and more threes coming up. That's the, the, the difference between going from big to small. Pettigrew count the basket. He'll step to the free throw line. Muldrow picks up his first. Excellent backdoor. Set play backdoor by Western Kentucky. As Pettigrew gets it to the basket and powerful. Western Kentucky worked on their backdoor plays and their shoot around today knowing that the Gamecocks would be playing overplay pressure man to man defense. Pettigrew converts the three-point play. Back to a nine-point South Carolina lead now. Western Kentucky clearly in this one. Good adjustments in the locker room by Ken McDonald. And a tie-up arrow will favor Western Kentucky. Devin Downey, folks. Three points on one of four shooting. Dave Neal, that's going to change here. <laughs> he will certainly take more shots as this game goes on and if it stays close. And honestly, he needs to start looking to score a little bit more as well. I love his attitude, though. He loves to get his teammates involved, but at some point here, if they start struggling to score, Devin needs to start looking for a shot. Of course, the zone keeps him in check, I think, a little bit more than a man-to-man. -man. He can't go off of ball screens. There goes Downey, the teardrop again, right on cue. And that's ridiculous, the teardrop, as you call it. That is one difficult shot, but not for Devin Downey. He can make the teardrop.
Here's Pettigrew. Turns to face up on Jackson. Now gets it to Karouche. Pettigrew threw it away. This is the teardrop Dave Neal, as you call it, and that's almost a game of horse, a shot in a game of horse, but there are very few players that can make that shot. What makes it even more interesting and amazing to me is he does it at 5'9", which is even harder. And a blocking foul against Western. That'll go against Pettigrew. That'll be his second. Ken McDonald very composed on that bench. Thought that should be a charge. He's making his point in a very under control way. Jackson lost the handle. Here's Karush. Get down here with his hands. Not a good spot to be in if you're Anthony Sally, but he gets out of it. Galloway saved it. Down he lost it. Slaughter. Got it. A.J. Slaughter with his first three of the game. A.J. now with seven. And that's a huge hoop, not only because it was a three, but it was a hustle play for Western Kentucky to even gain possession of that basketball. to Rayleigh Rawls. Good pass and a nice cut from Brandis. Absolutely. Muldrow keeps his poise out of the double team. He has his head up. Nice pass to the cutter for the basket. Rayleigh Ross. But A.J. Slaughter in Western Kentucky still hanging around. They were down by as many as 17. It's a 10 point game now. Gamecocks have some loyal fans. No doubt about that. 46-36 Gamecocks out in front by 10 against a very good Western Kentucky team. And this is a team that has a, about as good a tradition as you'll find. I mean, this, this is a, a, a program that's had some great success over the years. Well, Final Four as well in 1971 with the great Jim McDaniel. And how about the coaches who have gone through Bowling Green, Kentucky? Gene Cady, Clem Haskins, Ralph Willard, Murray Arnold, Dennis Felton. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. A place where Darren Horn as well went through and certainly an outstanding place to play college basketball and to coach college basketball. And there have been some great ones come through Bowling Green. And Dill Arena is one of the one of the hardest places to play for an opponent. And there's some renovations a few years back. Great, great campus facility. And a carry against South Carolina. And we've been kind of spoiled coming in here to this Colonial Life Arena. You forget <laughs> how nice this place is sometimes. It is a very nice building and a great location for the fans. This whole little setup down here on the Vista with a new baseball stadium just a few blocks away, right along the river. And it really is a nice little setup, South Carolina and uh, the city of Columbia have kind of meshed forces. Well, absolutely, and a lot of credit should be given to Eric Kyman, the athletic director at South Carolina, who has really uh, done a great job with the city. Mayor Bob Coble should be commended as well, and the relationship between the university and the city of Columbia is outstanding now with Eric here. Steed, that won't go. Slaughter. Slaughter's got that little hop back in his step. I didn't think we saw it in the first half, but threw it away right there. Up ahead to Steed. The worst layup goes down. That's an excellent catch by a 6'8 young man running full speed and able to complete. Slaughter lost his cool in that double team. Excellent trap by the Gamecocks. Slaughter, air ball. First time we've seen him kind of force it tonight. Evans will keep it alive. Slaughter, try it again. 
It's not his night to this point offensively. Dixon with an offensive rebound, and he'll step to the free throw line. Typically, Dave, you don't want to pitch the ball ahead to a big guy running the court. It's a tough catch and a very tough finish. And that tells me something about Austin Steed. Number one, he has good hands. Number two, he is in full control when running the basketball court. Very nice play. Dixon to the line. Now two out of three. Five rebounds, four points. Vanillas and Downey on the floor. Jackson and Rayleigh Ross will take a breather. I like Dixon, junior college transfer. Very active, very long. Nice addition to the Western Kentucky basketball team. Oh, half brother of Kevin Durant, by the way. A little basketball in the blood, you'd, you'd say. It's, he knocks down both of those free throws. Well, Kevin Durant plays for Rick Barnes at Texas, where Ken McDonald comes from. Doesn't hurt in the recruiting process. Galloway, runner in the lane, no good. Look at Muldrow getting up above everybody. Seven now for Sam. Sam, you can do that once. You can do it more often, <laughs> young man. Get it out of here, Sam Muldrow says. Western Kentucky will still have it. Plenty of time on the shot clock, 22 seconds. Four blocks now for Sam Muldrow tonight. And he comes away with the basketball to Downey. Downey feeds Muldrow, no good. Here's a little run out from Sally. Sally sidesteps Downey and a foul against South Carolina. And that will go against Muldrow. That'll be his second. Shot block unsuccessful by Western Kentucky. And what a big man does, he goes to the board. And of course, Muldrow is the best shot blocker on the South Carolina team. And that's just ridiculous right there. Swats it, and the Gamecocks are on the move. So Sally's first free throw of the night goes awry. Every time Western Kentucky starts to make a push or a run day, a silly turnover, a poor shot, a missed layup, something stalls them each and every time so far tonight. Eleven point game. South Carolina's biggest lead has been 17. Downey, pull up three, no good. Jefferson had his hands on it for a minute. Now it's Western Kentucky trying to make it a single digit game. Looking for Slaughter. Slaughter guarded by Galloway. Got hit right in the hip. Jefferson came over to help out defensively and just hip checked Slaughter. Slaughter chased that ball the entire possession. He had it in his mind to get the basketball and to go one on one to make something happen. I think Western Kentucky to come back is going to have to do it more through the team concept than the one on one ability of A.J. Slaughter. And on the inbounds pass, another foul against South Carolina. That will go against Panolas as Slaughter still trying to shake it off. It wasn't a shooting foul, obviously, but that brings into play a, one of the new rules in college basketball this year. A player was supposed to shoot free throws, and he's hurt, and he can't shoot them. He used to be able to, a blocking foul underneath, but you used to be able to just, whoever came in for him would shoot the free throws. Well, some coaches took advantage of that rule. Now the opposing coach can pick somebody off the bench, or somebody that was on the floor, I should say, to shoot the free throws. That's correct, and I think an excellent change of rule, Dave. Yeah. Really a common sense approach to doing the right thing as coaches did the right thing within the rules. All right, they, they could do it, so why not take advantage right. of a poorly written rule, really? They've cleared up that language, and now the, coach, the opposing coach will select one of the players that were, was on the floor before the injury to shoot the free throws. But Benola's three fouls. Efka with eight points, couple of threes tonight. will take a seat. Karush. And Western Kentucky having a very, very difficult time at the free throw line. They are nine out of 16 tonight at the strike. 
two out of ten from behind the arc. 33% for the game overall. Equals hard to win on the road against an opponent like South Carolina. 16 free throws attempted by Western Kentucky. Two free throws attempted by South Carolina. Galloway saves it. Seven on the shot clock. Galloway trying to break down Dickerson. Pull up jumper. Well, that was a poor shot from Galloway. And then a hold against Jefferson. There is A.J. Slaughter. Getting some work done on that hip. And we'll need him down the stretch here in the final 12.03. By the way, that is... Uh, they give that foul to Steed, by the way. That'll be four on Austin Steed. So Austin has not had a very productive second half here. Only a couple of minutes on the floor before foul trouble has put him back on the bench. Uh, again, that makes John Dre Jefferson much more important. A young man with limited experience. A junior college player who already has played his average number of minutes per game and we still have Dave 12 minutes to go again the injury factor making other people play more minutes for the Gamecocks particularly in the post. Nine point game South Carolina led by 14 at the break see the shooting this half. Spinell inside. Gets it to Downey, has it taken out of his hands. That'll take us to a timeout. South Carolina holding on despite missing two of their main guns in Mike Holmes and Dominique Archie. It's nine point lead for the Gamecocks. Nine point Gamecock lead over Western Kentucky. Gamecocks five and one. The Hilltoppers two and two on the year. Busy night around the SEC. Give you some scores. None of these are finished as of yet, but Georgia over St. Louis. Tennessee leading East Tennessee by only three in the second half. Interesting game there. And Alabama doubling up North Florida. Arkansas up six early on Oklahoma. Ole Miss up nine. And Missouri and Vanderbilt coming up a little bit later tonight. That's a good matchup there for Kevin Stallings and company at Nashville. Nice to see John Pelfrey's club off to a good start in Norman against an Oklahoma team though that has struggled here recently. Yeah, good time to catch Oklahoma right now. See if Arkansas can take advantage. Devin Downey, shot clock now under 10. Downey will get a screen. Big hop step. And fouled in the process. The free throws coming up for Devin Downey and company. That foul on A.J. Slaughter. That will be his second. The crossover fakes using the ball screen. Ball screens are difficult to guard. And Downey fakes using the ball screen. The terrific crossover into the lane to the foul line. He's going to step it up here the last 12 minutes. Learned how to play in the schoolyards of Chester, South Carolina, Dave. Free throw story, 18 attempts for Western Kentucky, South Carolina just two. Now, South Carolina had taken 100 more free throws than Western Kentucky coming into this game. Well, that's a very surprising stat, and with the size of South Carolina, you would have thought they would have gotten to the line much more, not just in off the statistics, but off of the size of both these teams. And Western Kentucky will be at the line the rest of the game. There's 18 fouls against South Carolina, so one and one for uh, another foul against South Carolina, and then it's two shots the rest of the way. Well, and Western only has 14 fouls, so they still have two fouls to give. Slaughter, bad hit and all. Tipping. Evans can't get the second attempt to go down. Here's Galloway. Back to Downey. Oh, Downey might have gotten away with an extra step there, but how about that spin move? Oh, man. That is 
Well, I just you can't my, stop that. I just shook my head, closed my eyes after seeing that. What do you say? <laughs> Ridiculous, maybe. Downey with nine. That's a good word. And Rayleigh Ross with a reach in on Pettigrew. Let's go back to that last move by Devin Downey. And he does it 100 miles an hour. Describe that, Dave Neal. It's your job. Oop, there went an ankle. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Neal's gonna become the color analyst. I'll do play by play because like that's hard to describe right there. Uh, it, it's just it's too quick. I mean, it's a lot of guys might be able to make that move, but they can't make the shot. Well, he gathers so well. Good point, Dave. He gathers. He's got the ability to gather, you know, get squared, jump up, and then he fades. But it's a control fade. And you know what? If a six ten guy came out of nowhere to try to block that, he'd tear drop it right. and make it. Pretty impressive. Rayleigh Ross was thinking three, but a low pass. So he'll dump it inside to Jackson and a push on Pettigrew underneath. And Pettigrew will pick up his third foul. That's his third. Fourth team foul. These two teams uh, beginning a four year run playing each other. It's part of the contract Darren Horn had when he left Western to come here to South Carolina. Same thing happened with uh, Dennis Felton when he left Western, Car uh, Western Kentucky, excuse me, to go to uh, Georgia. They had to play Western four times, and mm -hmm. Dennis Felton went one and three against his old school. When I left Vanderbilt, I had to play them every year twice <laughs> when I was at South Carolina. <laughs> same league, same division. Yeah. That wasn't, sometimes wasn't a whole lot of fun. Here's Downey. There's the teardrop. Or maybe that was just the alley-oop. I'm going to say this because he's a senior and we've seen him play. I'm going to say that he laid that up for the King Jackson. I'm going to give him that. I'm not sure, but I'll give him <laughs> the benefit of the doubt. Western just can't get it going. Dave. The fake, the up, and the shot, and still inconclusive. I say pass after seeing it again. What do you think? If he was a freshman or a sophomore, I'd say it was a shot. Okay, I'm with you. Would they, did they give him a shot attempt on that or not? We'll ask. I think they gave uh, the see no assist, so uh, they're gonna they're gonna call it a shot in the stat sheet. Yeah, they say miss jumper. Sorry, Devin, I tried. Splits the defense. Now there's a pass. Jackson can't do anything with it. Pettigrew comes out of there with it. 13 point game. Under 10 to go. Here's Pettigrew off to Slaughter. Slaughter, nice pass. Jeremy Evans with the throwdown. Excellent. Penetration drew three South Carolina defenders and the ability to get it to Evans through a crowd. Down the inside. There's the teardrop again. It's been hard for Devin on the perimeter with his zone defense, but last few trips he's been trying to get into the paint. Uh, this game is on the line still, Dave. And again, as I said before, he was going to step it up in the second half. Eight in the second half now for Downey, 11 overall. A.J. Slaughter, bad hip and all, pull up jumper, got it. So A.J. Slaughter now has nine. He's four of 11 from the field. Western still still playing zone, trying to you know throw them off, get their three-point shooting out of six, maybe come up with, with some steals out front for some easy baskets. Downey, long three, off the front of the iron. Bradley Ross. Foul on the offensive rebound. South Carolina guards doing a great job of rebounding, offensive rebounding here. You know, early in the game, South Carolina was knocking down the three-point shots, but Western Kentucky stayed with the zone and 
South Carolina hasn't made them, you know, they haven't shot him out of the zone yet. Well, they haven't. And the other thing it does with Downey is as great as he is splitting zones up and getting to the paint, it, it's easier to keep him under control because there aren't any ball screens. The ball screens are almost impossible to guard him. Muldrow, long jumper. That's a three. Sam Muldrow with two three pointers tonight. He's got 10. And now, Sam, get yourself at the block where you really should be because you can score down there as well. South Carolina looks like they're back into a little bit of a. Way too much dribbling going to last trap and pitch. Long three by Slaughter. Dick off and out. Ultra, that's five, but Dixon stayed with it and got it to go down. Manolis, catch and shoot, no good. Pettigrew keeps it alive. Here's Slaughter, back the other way. Baruch, no good. Knocked out of bounds, it'll belong to Western Kentucky. When we come back, Sam Muldrow with a couple of three-pointers tonight. And seven points here in the second half. The big fella, a little outside game as well. Back in a moment. The talented Dominique Archie having to play the role of spectator tonight once again with a sprained knee still out indefinitely but who's going to step in and help fill that void well Akeem Jackson Brandis Fraley Ross and Ramon Galloway trying to do their part tonight well three perimeters stepping up and playing very well here tonight and Muldrow starting to come alive a little bit uh, as well as the Gamecocks go really small here with Benoulis as a four man. They actually have gone away from playing two posts at the same time and playing Benoulis or Lakeen Jackson as a power forward. Randis Rayleigh Ross, a couple of early threes. Helps South Carolina get off to a 17 point lead in the opening half, but Western Kentucky has stayed within striking distance, but it's getting crunch time now under seven to go in the contest. Dixon bounce pass to Pettigrew. Tried to hit a cutting Carouche, but here's Devin Downey. All the way down. Kicks it to Rayleigh Ross. Downey wide open the corner, but Rayleigh Ross didn't see him. And Western does go man to man. First time this half with 627 to play. Need to make something happen defensively, I think, Dave, to maybe get some easy baskets because they're struggling shooting in the half court. Got away with one. Yes, he did. <laughs> and Kid McDonald just lifts his shoulders up and says, How'd that happen? Dixon blocked by Muldrow. That's number six for Sam. And then Dixon stays with it. Boy, Dixon has been impressive tonight. Long, athletic, quick, plays hard, fearless. Nine points, eight boards for Cliff Dixon. Benoulis inside to Moldro. Sam's got a dozen, looking for 13 and 14, but he'll kick it out. But a three-second violation against Sam. That was a good three-second violation, Dave, because we had a layup coming here by Sally. And this could be a really great hands, keeping his poise, getting it back up with jumper. He and Evans, really athletic, long arm, quick athletes. Western takes a timeout, down a dozen. Well, not the kind of game if you're Darren Horn, you want to come out without Mike Holmes and Dominic Archie. You know how good Western Kentucky can be. But this is a, a, a solid effort by South Carolina against this good Western Kentucky team, but. It has been one of those nights for Western where they just haven't hit the shot at the right time. They've had a chance to get this thing down to seven, eight points, and they just haven't been able to do it. But look at that, five freshmen on that man's roster. Four seniors led by A.J. Slaughter, and Jeremy Evans, Anthony Sally. Kind of blending the old with the new. Still trying to figure out rotations and chemistry. Defense! 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 
South Carolina going zone will slow Western Kentucky down. It takes more time to get a good shot versus zone. Traveling violation against Spinella after he came up with the steal. I really like this change of defense, Dave. The Gamecocks have 19 fouls. By playing zone, they're much, much less likely to foul. They're up 12 with five to go. Again, it will slow Western down. Hard to get a good shot quickly versus zone unless it's a bad one. Bounce pass underneath. And Jefferson comes out of there with it and gives it to Downey. So now the clock goes under five minutes. And the Gamecocks now need to run some clock. Brady Ross, little step back. That's nice right there. Step back under control. Ten foot shot by a very good shooter. Use some clock as well. Pettigrew, high arching shot, no good. Last touch by Benulis. But Darren Horn able to buy a few minutes with Spinella. Brady Ross really playing well this year, and that ability there. You don't teach that one as well. I don't see anybody teaching behind the back dribbles. Dave Neal, nice move. Gastonia, North Carolina. So Galloway back on the floor. Jackson back on the floor as Downey and Spinella head to that South Carolina bench. And West are really struggling, getting no dribble penetration at all first this zone. Long three by Slaughter, off the front of the iron. Evans rebound. Sally had to travel. Western Kentucky has out rebounded South Carolina 40 to 34 tonight. And they've done a good job on the offensive glass here in the second half, but they haven't been able to convert on many of those. And Downey out, taking a breather. Bradley Ross throws it off Evans' leg. 3.46 to go in the game. South Carolina's lead is 14. It's where it was at intermission. Oh, 65-51, Gamecocks out in front by 14. Devin Downey's had a good second half. Well, Dave, here we go. We got a little teardrop. We got a little spin and fade. The split to the teardrop. The hesitation and go to the teardrop. That was a pass, Dave. Neil, you and I agree. <laughs> and my question is to you, Dave, how would you like to try to guard that young man, Dave Neal? Wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't even attempt it. I wouldn't recommend attempting to do it. Especially at my elevated age. <laughs> and his heart's as big as his body. Then factor in the intangible quality, and that's why Devin Downey is truly outstanding. Here's Downey now. Pull up jumper. Add that to the highlight reel. Devin Downey now with 13 in the game. 10. Five of 11 now from the field. Take away by the Gamecocks. Here's Downey. Give him two more. The biggest lead of the game is right now. Nice play by Galloway. Long off, quick athlete out front of the zone. Galloway and, and Downey out front going to come up with a lot of steals. Jackson to the basket, reverse layup, no good. And I think D Darren Horn probably not happy with the freshman taking it to the basket. Now's the time you want to chew up some of that clock, but here's Devin Downey out in the open floor. And Galloway really makes the play very quick out front. Those two guys can pick your pocket in a heartbeat, and the Gamecocks need to run clock on the offensive end. Jackson does not need to be going to the basket out of control. Yeah, Darren Horn, when A.J. Slaughter just knocked down that three, he about came unglued. 
over there because you know in that last time out he said don't let Slaughter shoot the three and what do they do they give up, they give up the three Slaughter's big time. Shoot the jumper, no good. Steed lost the handle. Now there's the shot. Muldrow fakes a pass. He's awkward in his movement. You don't practice that shot, you don't take that shot. So under two and a half to go. Lead is 15. Slaughter guarding Downey. Two guys that might be their conference players of the year when it's all said and done. <laughs> Set and run something. Ten on the clock. Attack the basket. That's a perfect possession for South Carolina to take 26 seconds off the clock. Get to the foul line. A poor possession by Western Kentucky. If you're going to foul, you might as well foul early in the possession. Galloway with his first free throw attempts coming up. Ramon with nine points. What about uh, this South Carolina team tonight without Archie and Holmes? Well, I think what I like, Dave, is I, I see a cohesive unit. I see people playing with confidence. I see Darren Horn playing a lot of people, giving players confidence. So I like what I see here tonight with this effort. Mike, Mike Holmes. Not uh, with the team right now. He has had surgery on the orbital bone around his uh, cheek, eye area from an injury suffered when he was at home, just kind of goofing around and pretty serious injury. We certainly wish him the best in his recovery, but he'll be out for quite a while, I would assume. Pettigrew in and out, no good. Muldrow with the rebound. Sam with eight boards, 12 points. One of those nights, or even open ones, cannot make them. Hard to win on the road again, Dave, shooting the statistics from the field, from the foul line, from three that the Hilltoppers have shot here today. Jackson, little alley-oop. That doesn't work. Galloway. Crook. Downey grabs the rebound. Four Gamecocks in double figures tonight. Led by the 15 of Devin Downey. Timeout taken by Darren Horn to get some guys on the floor in the final 35 seconds. And Darren realizes he can't afford any injury at all. A, a bum ankle right now to one of his starters. They'd be in some serious trouble. I would agree, Dave. <laughs> yeah. How about if the little fella went out? <laughs> well, mass substitutions for South Carolina in the final 35 seconds. You look at what's up in, uh, up in store for this Gamecock team. They'll head up. To Clemson, and then a good Richmond team, then at Wofford. I mean, that's uh, well. Let me say, Dave Richmond beat Mississippi yeah. State and Missouri in a tournament over Thanksgiving. Wofford has beaten Georgia. Georgia. Mike Young's done a great job. Probably his best Wofford team. That game in Spartanburg will be tough. the rainbow jumper. Efka now with three threes and 11 points. Western Kentucky will walk out of here with a defeat. South Carolina will walk out of here with a little bit more confidence without two of their main guns. They win for the sixth time and seven tries this year. Darren Horn taking down his alma mater. Final score tonight, 74-56. South Carolina wins it. For Western Kentucky, they'll go to two and three all the year. And 
South Carolina goes to six and one. The Gamecocks only lost coming to Miami over in Charleston last week. But Devin Downey leads the Gamecocks once again with 15 points on six of 12 from the floor. We'll come back here from some of the Gamecocks. Stay with us. South Carolina goes to six and one on the year with a 74 56 win over Western Kentucky. Devin Downey with a good second half, 15 points to his credit. He is alongside Coach Eddie Fogler. Thank you, Dave. First thing we got to do is clear up uh, something here that you and I were talking about on the year. Devin, when you drove the lane and you. Was that a shot or a pass on that no, dunk? It was a pass. It was a pass. It was a pass, yeah. Okay, well, I'm glad we cleared that up because okay. Dave Neal and I, we gave you benefit of the doubt yeah, being a scene. That was a pass. Yeah. I would tell you the official st shot, uh, stat sheet had you for a missed shot, oh. so you need, to, you need to go check that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, on a serious note, congratulations. Uh, talk to me about um, the injury situation with Holmes uh, being out and, and Archie being out. Uh, what do you think? Uh, about your team now and what do you think you have to do as uh, as the leader uh, I think you know we just got to keep fighting I think um, situations like this we got to make it a positive Dominique second leading score I think second rebounder Mike first re rebounder I mean they mean so much to the team but I'm just so proud of those guys the way they came out and we just fought tonight we fought as a team do you intentionally uh, try to get your teammates involved early in the game sometimes I I watch Devin Downey play and you're so unselfish do you consciously try to get your teammates involved before you try to do what Devin Downey can do uh, you're right about that my, I think my job is do whatever it takes to win the first half guys was hitting shots so there's no reason for me to look out um, look for offense second half we came out kind of sluggish I feel we need a boot so I just try to step up last question you ready to play on Saturday Sunday oh it's Sunday Sunday. It's, I'm sorry. You ready to go up and uh, take on Clemson up in Little John Coliseum? I'm ready. I knew it was going to be crazy. It's going to be a great game. Congratulations, Devin. Good luck. <laughs> See you now. Okay, back to Dave Neal. Coach, something tells me he'd be ready to play on Saturday, too. <laughs> South Carolina wins it with Devin Downey, 15 points. Five Gamecocks in double figures tonight as they win it by 18 over Western Kentucky. Devin Downey. He's pretty special. We'll have more in a moment. South Carolina wins it by 18. Five players in double figures. Led by Devin Downey's 15 points. Dave Neal back alongside the coach, Eddie Fogler. And, uh, you know, it's great to hear from Devin Downey. It's one of the great things we get to do is we get to meet some of these guys, hang out with them, and you realize what kind of guy Devin is. Oh, he's terrific, Dave. And I hope uh, the interview was okay because I wanted to have some <laughs> yeah. fun with it. But, uh, you know, the first thing he came up to me before we actually did the interview, Coach, I, I got to get my assist. I got to get my assist. And I said, Devin, just do what Devin can do. And the, the other question I wanted to ask him, which we didn't have time for was do you really how much do you practice the teardrop as right. you call it because it's incredible a very difficult shot and he is delightful he's a winner and uh, I would have loved to have had him on one of my teams yeah Although I had right. some pretty good guards you know my church league club we could use him at the point I think you know, I don't know if he's available <laughs> he said he wanted to play on Saturday so we'll see so South Carolina with a good win tonight of course some some serious troubles in terms of help for them right now without Holmes without Archie but they came out against a good Western Kentucky team had a good game plan behind Darren Horn and got five guys in double figures and they win it by 18 so a good win for South Carolina Freddie Fogler and the rest of our crew I'm Dave Neal saying so long from Columbia South Carolina where the Gamecocks win it 74 56 have a good night everybody and we will see you down the road